Hey, I'm Maria back with another video. It's been a while since I've made one. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, this video is going to come out well or not because I know I have the fans going on in here. And knowing my luck, <laughs> you know, the fans going to sit here and like, you know, overshadow my voice if I'm talking. But anyway, um, so I may have to delete this video. Who knows? But anyway. Um, yeah, so, you know, it has been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've just been kind of sitting around here at my house, pedaling around, you know, um, working on my project, which I'm not really in a rush to finish this one. I know I have some sewing patterns that have been, you know, stacking up, you know, um, and I really should be working on those, but right now I'm, I'm kind of working on some beadwork. Um, I'm not a professional beater um, by any means, but um, I wanted to make something, so I thought I'd add some beads to it. So it's going to take a while, you know, I'm putting on each and every little bead, so that's kind of time consuming. But yeah, yesterday I did some, like, thinking, which I can't stop doing, you know, that's what Maria's all about, you know. And I was thinking about how, you know, people perceive people's goals, other people's goals or their self-fulfillment as some sort of competition when that's not even something that remotely interests me at all. Um, I think when people get involved in comp competitive behavior, um, they lose sight of what it is that they're trying to focus on and it's, it's not productive in any way. Um, you know, um, when a person does a good job at work, it's not, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but for myself, you know, it's important because I understand that I have to stand on my own. I have to be independent, you know, in my life's journey uh, because, I mean, I, all I can do is rely on myself, you know. And some people would say, well, what if you married a rich guy or whatever? I would never trust anybody and put my life in somebody else's hands. I mean, that appeals to some women, but that doesn't appeal to me. Because I don't trust people. I don't trust them. I never will, okay? And I have good reason to. And I think this is a fine example of... Um, my situation is a fine example as to why I, I lack trust in people. Uh, you know, and of, of course my spiritual teaching and what is obvious, whether it's spiritual teachings, religious dogma, or whatever. I mean, people do not have your best interests at heart. I mean, people have it in them to be evil. And so, um, you know, I, I'm the kind of person, I just want to make sure that my life is okay, like I'm on the right track. I want a very peaceful life, you know. I, I personally believe that I have the skills to, you know, um, aspire to be more. I mean, I, why shouldn't I? I mean, I, I feel as though I know a lot. I'm not, I don't, that's not to say that I know everything, because I know that there's certain things that I still need to, to learn. But as far as the kind of work that I've been doing for the last 20 years, um, I know that I'm fully you know, competent in my job. Also, um, that, um, you know, personally, you know, I really do think that I have the skills to run an entire company. I really do. I mean, I really do. Um, but my aspirations are not, um, are not, uh, you know, based on materialism. It is based on some sort of security. But it was, you know, it was something that I felt as though were um, matched my desire to do well and then also enjoy what I was doing at the same time which is what I think everybody strives to do. And that's as simple as that. I mean, um, I, I, I've never won up. I don't even think like when I was on Facebook, I don't even think I wrote where I worked. Those sort of things were never really discussed on Facebook. I mean, I was just there. I had my, my location, my name. Um, and every once in a while I would date up like update photos or whatever. So I'm not the kind of person who likes to talk about things that I have. Um, and believe me, I have very little. But, you know, in the, in the past, you know, um, I, I've learned to keep things to myself because it, stint, it tends to stir competition, competitive behavior, in, in people around me, and I don't like that, okay? Whether that's initiated from my... Well, I think it's been initiated from my family, okay? Um, bringing their competitive game into the workplace, which is really stupid. Um, 
and um, I don't like to. I mean, I like to know what other people are doing in, in, you know, when I'm conversing with them and, and that sort of thing. You know, like, for example, some one of my neighbors I was talking to, you know, she is um, an artist and she does, um, what do you call it, stained glass type sun catchers, right? Now, this is something that I have always wanted to do, okay? I mean, I've wanted to make sun catchers forever. So I got in, like, a, a brief conversation with her, right? And, like, I was watching um, some of these Pinterest posts, and they were talking about making sun catchers. Really, I would like to have stained glass windows, okay? But Maria's life is about improvising, obviously, okay? So I have to do that in the most inexpensive way I possibly can. So sun catchers are, like, the next best thing to some fucking, like, Victorian house, you know, <laughs> with, 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 like, these awesome windows, right? So, okay, Maria gets to have, like, a sun catcher, and she can dream, right? Okay, so anyway, I was watching some people's way of making sun catchers, right? And so um, they were talking about using like plastic bead methods, right? And so I'm talking to her, you know, this artist who knows, you know, real skills. She's got, you know, these phenomenal skills that, you know, hey, you know, I, I, I respect. I respect it. Right? And she was telling me that that's not how you think of it. I kind of laughed, you know. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, you're a real artist. You know what you're, you're doing. You know, so she can produce um, quality glass, you know, which glass to me is always going to appear brighter, more vibrant, more radiant in the sunlight than plastic, okay? So, like, I'm just like, well, then fuck making, you know, sun catchers because it's not going to be as good, okay? It's not. This I fully know, but I didn't feel envious towards her. I felt like, wow, you know, did I feel blown away? Yeah, because I can imagine the kind of work that, go, that goes into that kind of thing, okay? But that doesn't mean that I'm sitting here looking at her with daggers in my eyes or that I'm going to somehow, like, you know, waste a bunch of money to take classes so that I can make better sun catchers than her. You know what I mean? I, I'm not stirred that way. You know, I, I respect her, her, her craft. You know, I haven't seen any of her work. I'm hopefully maybe she'll, she'll show that to me one day. But it's like I'm not, I don't, it's not in me to be that way, you know. And for a lot of people it is. It is. And so this sort of, you know, um, cutthroat, one-upmanship bullshit that so many people get wrapped up into is one thing that I think, people need to be aware of, okay, it's there, I mean, you've seen people go buy a car, the next thing you know, their neighbor will buy a car, you know, it's either the same model or one that's like more of scale or a kind of comparative car where they're just more luxurious or whatever, you know, and, and I'm just like, god damn, you know, mind you, hell, I, I would love to have a new car, believe me, okay, because, you know, I feel more secure in a um, vehicle that's been, you know, brand new, and I don't know why I feel that way, because I've seen several examples of people who bought used cars in the last years and years, and then somebody buys a new car and it's a piece of shit. But still, I would prefer to have one, okay? But I can see people driving, you know, new cars in front of me all the time. I'm not sitting here thinking that they, they should die, or that they somehow, you know, I'm just like, well, shit, you know, it, I guess I, things blow off me more, I mean, than it does with a lot of other people. And I guess it's because I've experienced so much barbaric behavior in my life that I've learned to not even get involved in it at all. I don't want any part of it. Um, and so I, I, um, I remember back in, I don't know, 2014 or some, somewhere around there, I was having a conversation about why I think it's important for people to understand behavior, um, human behavior. They don't have to be quite as skilled and knowledgeable about me, I mean, as I am, because I know people. I know how damn rotten they can be, and they can be totally rotten, okay? And, and I, I can honestly tell you that in my experience with most people, I have seen more bad than good, okay? And I think if people really start looking back, they probably have experienced that too, okay? People are not naturally inclined to do things that are not going to benefit them. They, they, they're just that way. So I was talking to this person, I was saying how important I personally think it is that people understand this. Like, you know, people should notice signs of this weird 
a bizarre, um, a destructive urge that starts to fester up in people. And they should know how some, they should understand how to um, work in a way where they can divert that person's attention so they can continue to focus on their work. People are there to do a job so that they can build their life's foundation, their security, although I hate using the word security because what is that these days really, but, or really ever, but anyway, <laughs> there's no such thing as security anyway because you can have something one day and lose it the next, but you know what I'm talking about. But that's what you're there for. You're there to do a job. You're there to get your job done. You're there so that you do a, the best job you possibly can so that you can advance yourself. That's what. That's the name of the game, okay? And my advancement has nothing to do with other people. It's about me knowing, being fully aware, that one day I'm going to get old, okay? And I have to have some sort of nest egg to rest on. I'm a very practical person, and, and I mean, I'm extremely practical, <laughs> you know, um, but, you know, and, and that's what it's about, you know, and so unfortunately, you know, these people, the collective has made it a game of competition, bringing religion into it, and this sort of thing, and um, I guess my, my point is, is that, you know, what I do in my life has nothing to do with anyone else, okay? Everything that I do in my life is for my own enjoyment. I don't care what other people have. I don't care what they do. Um, and yet, you know, I, I'm just a very focused person, you know? Like, I know, you know, that I had goals in the past, and I wanted to accomplish those, you know? And it was like, you know, no matter what, this is the most important thing I need to be focused on at this point in my life, okay? And so you get these people, they think it's funny, let me divert her away from whatever, or some egotistical person setting standards and saying, well, you know, you can have your dream, but when you do things my way. I have every right to employ, approach an employer and present myself to them any way, shape, or form, okay? A bum off the street, okay, if they wanted to, has the right to apply for the job. Okay, mind you, they probably will not get that job, okay? But the point is, is that, you know, they have a right to obstruct employment in any way is a violation of a person's human rights, which we've talked about the law, and I'm sick and tired of talking about it anymore, so I'm not even going to go there. But, um, um, that's what it's about. I, I don't want to play a game. You know, I don't want to be caught up in some sort of work competition. The competition is not started for me, okay? Um, I'm just somebody who sees the importance of living what I consider to be a peaceful life. Um, and somebody who sees the importance of thinking about tomorrow. I know a lot of people who don't think about their future. I mean, I, I talk to people all the time. They have this live for today mentality, which I can't say is all bad because, you know, you don't want to get overwhelmed with overthinking, okay? Because I'm an overthinker, okay, by nature, okay? I wouldn't recommend anybody take on this sort of taxing mindset because I'm going to tell you, in, in a way, it's a blessing. And in some ways, it's kind of, you know, it, there's times where it is a, a difficult thing to, to deal with because... Sometimes I deal with insomnia. Sometimes um, my brain has worked to, through a, a situation so much so that I have lost all energy. I mean, seriously, I have extreme mind power. And I think that, um, uh, you know, to, to have people overthink things as on, on being who they are would be, very, it would be very difficult for them to do. But I do think about tomorrow. Not everybody does, okay? There's a lot of people who, like, I see a lot of people in their 40s and their 50s, and, you know, I'm thinking, they don't seem to care about their future. They don't seem to think about what they're going to do in 20, 30 years, where they're going to be. I'm very well aware that my Social Security statement that I actually do not throw away in the trash, I actually look at it and read it, and I know that that's not going to be enough income for me. I know it, okay? Okay. So I'm like, okay, well, if rent is like, a lot of rents are like $1,000, okay? Or like right now, I pay like about $600, $600, okay? Now, 
I know the cost of living is going to go up higher when I get older. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, do the math, okay? Can I live on $1,062 a month in my future? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. So it's just logical for me. So it's not about competition. It's about being able to secure employment that matches my skill level, gives me the opportunity to build on what I have, so that I can have advancement, so that I can have a way to live in the future, you know? And um, that's pretty much what it is. It, it, I don't need to tell people what my dreams are or my goals are. or um, uh, That's a very privileged, that's privileged information that I, I would only share with somebody that I felt was either of help to me, of use to me, or I had an emotional bond with. And so, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not about competition. I'm about getting the shit done, you know, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, um, today I'm staying in the house. I'm not really going to do a whole lot. I'm going to try to, I'm not going to finish that bead work, um, only because it's going to take a while for me to get that done, but I will be working on it throughout the day. Um, yes, I'm still looking for work, but there's times where I do have like this lapse, you know, um. I, I know I need to find something that's more stimulating, um, but there's times where I just lose energy and I keep having this, these negative thoughts, and it, it's a lot to push through. Um, but I know that I have to do it. I deserve more. I need to be able to pay my bills and not run short of money like sometime within the midweek or whatever. I don't like doing that. And I sure as hell don't like asking people for help, okay? I'd rather not do that. Um, I'm a very proud woman, and um, I will be that way till the day I die. That's just how it is. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I all hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I, I just I just wanted to talk about the comp competitive the competitive nature of people and why I resent it so much. You know, because it it prevents people from living their lives. You know, and and if people stop this competitive behavior they would have a lot more happiness in their life because they would be focused on their goals instead of getting, you know, their attention directed somewhere else, you know. Like, there might be a girl who's really a great ballet dancer, okay, and she might meet some girl who, I don't know, um, she's really into, I don't know, what kind of dance, like, uh, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, Spanish, I forgot what you call that, like those Spanish type dancers, you know, um, which I find very impressive, by the way. And so she may be, you know, trying to get her ballet skills down to like perfection, and yet she's so looking, looking at this girl where she's like, I think I'm going to get out of ballet and I'm going to do this instead, and she may be a complete failure, you know. And so she wastes her time, you know, pursuing something that she wasn't thinking about in the first place. There's nothing wrong with being inspired by people or trying to learn from people. But when it gets, the, the competitive nature, it's just something that is a waste of time. It is a waste of time to compete against other people. It is. And, and why this is encouraged in the workplace is beyond me, especially from people who own companies and man, um, and, and manage. It, it just it's just foolishness. It really is. Um, yeah, um, there's there's a, there's a time and place for competition. It's like you know that's what sports teams are for, basically. So anyway, I think that's all I really want to say right now. Um, staying in the house, I won't be making an appearance out in public till probably this evening or sometime mid afternoon. I'm, I'm a, I have to run, do my ice run, and I'm a cheap person, so, you know, Maria doesn't like spending almost $6 for a bag of ice, okay? I see no point in it, <laughs> you know? I really don't, so I have to drive a little bit, which really irritates me because I'm like, okay, is it really point, is it really an, a good idea to drive to get a cheaper bag of ice when you're spending that in gas anyway, you know? But anyway. <laughs> wrap up this video. Have a wonderful day.